Today, today we are going to discuss the types of statistical tests and how to solve them in PSPT. So the problem from this book, or at least the given data in this book or found in this book, Modern Business Statistics, we're going to use PSPT to solve the problems or the tests and Excel in each where we type in the data. Uh, so as our view, these are the steps in hypothesis testing. So number one, you state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. Number two, you choose the level of significance. Number three, you select the appropriate test statistic and establish the critical region. Number four, collect the data and compute the value that is test statistic from the sample data. And number five, make the decision. So for uh, the first statistical test, we're going to discuss t-test for independent samples. The independent samples t-test or the independent t-test compares the means between two unrelated groups on the same con continuous dependent variable. So two unrelated groups, but it's the same dependent variable. For example, you can use an independent t-test to determine whether knowledge on financial liter literacy of commerce students differed between two groups, male and female. So your dependent variable would be knowledge and financial literacy, and your independent variable would be the sex, which has two groups, male and female. Okay, so this is your independent samples t-test. So you have a independent groups that are unrelated, and you have a continuous dependent variable. The assumptions for the t-test for independent samples, number one, the dependent variable should be measured at the interval or ratio level since it's a continuous variable. For example, you have your customer satisfaction, intelligence, which is usually your IQ score, weight, height. Okay. Then number two, the independent variable should consist of two categorical independent groups. So categorical, qualitative, and independent groups. So, for example, sex, like male and female, then your school status, whether you go to a public school or a private school. Uh, so, these are categorical, and they're independent from one another. Number three, there should be an independence of observations, meaning we're comparing in t-test two unrelated groups. So, in unrelated groups are also called unpaired groups or independent groups are groups in which cases in each group are different. So, this means that there is no relationship between the observations in each group or between the groups themselves. So, for example, if you're going to measure the height or weight of, say, college students or, let's say, the commerce students, so male and female, we don't really have a uh, set weight, diba? You know, You are not asked to be at least 50 kilograms or at most 100 kilograms to be enrolled in the College of Commerce. You, you just simply accept everybody. So that's why it's unrelated group and your weight has no relationship whatsoever since the college does not impose any weight or height restrictions for you to be enrolled in the college. Then four, the dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed for each group of the independent variable. So there should be at least 15 samples per group. Then number five, there is need for homogeneous variances. So this means that the population variance in each group are equal. The independent t-test assumes the variances of the two groups you are measuring are equal in population. The assumption of, homoge of homogeneity of variance can be tested using Levens test of equality of variances, which is produced in your PSPP statistics when running the independent t-test procedure. So you simply read the result whether it's significant or not significant. And procedure in PSPP, so this is now how to, to do your t-test independent sample in PSPP. Number one, in case, encode data for independent and independent variables according to their groups. Number two, you click on analyze, compare means, independent sample t-test. 
Then in grouping, you simply enter categories with ind independent variable and in test variable, you enter the dependent variable. So let's do this one. So example problem. Let's listed here are the SAT scores of students in mathematics. At 0 0.05 level of significance, can it be concluded the scores of female students varies from male students? Okay. So this is now the, the, the list of students grouped according to their sex. So there are 36 students here, but at least we should have at least 15 samples per group. So, at least 30. So, this, and these are now the maths, math SAT score of the students. Okay. So, we encode this one in PSPP. First, we go to your variable view. Then, you simply name respondents. Respondents. Just have this one as S. So, student. Then, sex. And math sat score. So this is now scale, and this is ordin uh, nominal. Then for Okay, for value label, so you can have one male and two female. And the decimal place is zero. This is now the data view. And you can simply copy one from Excel. So all the female students is converted into two. It's all the female students. And all male students are converted into one. Okay, so that's now the text. Then a student. And for decimal. This is also zero. This is now our math sat scores. Okay, then next you do your t test for independent samples. So analyze, compare means, independent samples t test. So for grouping variable, that would be your sex. And then for the test variable, that would be the math sat score. Okay, then you define the groups. So group one value is that one, one is male and then group two value is female. Then continue. Option. And that's okay. This is now the results. Okay. So let's go back first to the problem. So at least near the stat hat scores of students in mathematics at 0 0.05 level of significance, can it be concluded that the scores of female students varies from male students? So wait. The null hypothesis would be there is no significant difference between the scores of female and male students. Then your alternative hypothesis is there is a significant difference between male and female students. Then for the step two, which is choose the level of significance at that's 0 0.05. Then select appropriate test statistics. We already use independent t-test or t-test for independent samples. And, and then you have computed your test statistic from the sample data. And now it's time to make your decision. So let's proceed to here. So the Levine's test for equality of variances is 0 0.388. So this is not significant. So you're actually going to use your equal variances assumed. 
And look at your sig two tail since the question is that is there a difference between male and female score? So this this is a two tail test, which is at zero point six nine seven. And zero point six nine seven is greater than point zero five. So since it's greater than point zero five, so we do not reject the null hypothesis. So you do not reject the null hypothesis. So there is there is no significant difference between the scores of male and female students. And if you can actually look here at the mean, so the mean score of male students is 499.78, and the mean score of female students is 507.56, so meaning it's close to each other. And even if you use equal variances not assumed, it's still 0 0.697.